Hey, what's up everybody? This is Armand Adibi from ArmandAdibi.com. Today I'm going to talk about opioid use and how it affects your testosterone levels. You know, so a lot of people that use pain pills, a lot of bodybuilders do, you know, hydrocodone, Lortab, Vicodin, Percocet, Dilaudid, uh, Morphine, Oxycontin, uh, and then some go as far as, uh, you know, heroin. Heroin is the... They're all the same thing. The you know the dangerous thing about heroin and how many, you know why people die so much is because you can't dose it right. You get something and it's off the street and it could be laced with like fentanyl and kill you and stuff like that. So, but basically they're they're all the same. Uh, you know, a Vicodin getting a hook hooked to that like long term is the same as you know pretty much heroin. Um, so what it does to your testosterone levels. So you're getting. When you, you know, take, consume either orally, snorting, injecting, whatever this opioid, opioid you're using, um, you're getting all your uh, brains releasing all the feel-good chemicals, the dopamine, the serotonin, you're, you get like a euphoric feeling. So at first it's like, okay, whatever, cool. And I can relate because I had four surgeries back to back. They put me on some strong medicine and I just recently got off. I was on it for about eight months and um, it, uh, it numbs you, it numbs everything. And so since I've been off, I feel great and um, I would never go back on. Uh, but I legitimately needed it for my surgeries and I also have two herniated discs in my lower back and one in, or two in my neck, so, and that are very problematic. But I'm just doing, um, you know therapeutic stuff like upstairs at my house I have a massage table I just bought an inversion table uh, my fiance she's about to start she's a has our doctrine in physical therapy she's about to start doing dry needling um, so you know you can do all that good stuff but so anyways you're getting these releases of these hormones so it's kind of like the same hormone like the same not hormones but the same chemicals in your brain being released when you're having sex so when you're on all these heavy opioid uses, doses, you have no desire, or most people, they don't have any desire for sex because you're, you're getting all the, the feel good that comes from sex from a drug. And so what that does over time, it, it, it makes your gonads not produce the testosterone it needs to be producing. So it also ra uh, lower, uh, raises your estrogen because your, your testosterone is being suppressed, your estrogen is going to go up. So a lot of people, you know, always ask me, are, are pain pills bad for you? Uh, in moderation, no. If you're, if you're taking them every day for months and months at a time, yeah, they're going to affect a lot of things. You're gonna, they're going to affect your brain, your body, your, your mind, your thinking. Some people are functional on them. Some people are delusional on them. Some people are irate on them. So uh, it's a big problem in the U.S., the opioid crisis, they call it. But I think, I know I'm rambling a lot here, but I think a lot of the doctors are making big mistakes and the pharmacists because what they do, there's actually people that are in chronic pain and they really limit their medicine or they cut them off. And what do those people do? They're in, in such chronic pain. And I know this because I've been uh, in, in very bad chronic pain and I, if I have a flare-up, you know, it put it cripples me for days. I can't even walk. I can't even. I can't sit, stand. I mean, you're walking around your house, like literally almost in tears until you you resolve your um your injury or it goes back into place. Um, so I get it, but what it does, it you know, it completely kills your sex drive. And it makes it hard, you know, to ejaculate. And I'm making this video. It's kind of personal, but uh, there's not any any information on the internet about it. I found and. You know, I know a lot of um, a lot about medicines, uh, supplements, everything in the, the human body. So I just wanted to share this with people because your know, bodybuilders on this long-term, you know, pain medicine use is not good. And I know because I experienced firsthand um, the effects. And it doesn't matter if you're a saint or a school teacher or whoever. If you start taking these pills or whatever. Your choice of you know a prescription may be these opioids. Your body gets addicted. Your brain gets addicted. Your brain stops making stops making the dopamine serotonin because 
you're getting a synthetic version. Just like testosterone, when you take a synthetic testosterone, your natural sh testosterone shuts down. And it takes a while to boost back. And um, you can either do like test replacement or do some natural herbs and stuff like that. Um, so basically, yeah, you're suppressing it for so long. And then let's say it's time to get off. Okay, first of all, you this is what the doctors don't tell you is when you come off this medication you're going to go through severe withdrawals uh, it depends on how long you were using uh, what the doses were and what uh, what you know some are harder than the others like the dilated and the oxys are harder oxycontin and oxycodone those are harder than the vicodin just because it produces more of a euphoric feeling so what happens you're going through a, with, a withdrawal phase um, which lasts about seven days. And um, it's just picture the flu times 100. It's completely miserable. And it's not only physical, it's mental too. Uh, you know, you get severe depression because your brain's not getting those chemicals. Like, let's say you're using, you know, like dilated, and your brain is getting all this chemical all the time and it's not getting these chemicals anymore. Um, it, you know, it shuts down. So it's just like, okay, it's shut down. So you're going to be depressed. You're going to be, you know, lack of motivation. You're going to hardly, it's going to be hard to get out of bed. And I'll make a separate video on what medications are good to, and I'm, I'm a doctor, so this is not medical advice. It's just my personal experience, what medicines are good to come off. And there's quite a few um, successfully uh, without having the withdrawals so intense. You're still gonna have some withdrawals, it's still gonna suck. I mean, you were using a opioid for a long time, which was changing the you know chemistry of your brain. And it will take a couple months for, for your, the chemistry of your brain to get back to normal. So it, it suppresses your testosterone, so what happens, it shoots up your estrogen too. So when you're on these medicines, it, you, don't, you feel good, but it's not good for long term. So a lot of people have a lot of um, struggles with it and they can't get off because when you get sick and you run out of your medicine, the withdrawals are so bad, you just want to go right back on. And, you know, a lot of times the doctors cut people off. So then they move to the street for, you know, heroin and harder stuff. Which, you know, that's not the life you want to live, guys. You know, and I'm, sp I'm speaking from experience here with the pain medicine because I've had my fair share of injuries and I have, I'm in chronic pain and I also have a uh, pain manager that I see that will prescribe me all these, um, these medications. Um, so I actually have a product on my site. I'm not trying to do a plug, but it works. So when you're going through withdrawals, um, and you want your natural testosterone to come back, I wouldn't recommend taking test replacement right away because let your natural testosterone kick in. It's been suppressed for so long. So as soon as you get off the opioids, not as soon, but maybe a few weeks later, your sex drive is going to go up. You're going to feel like, you know, a teenager again. You're going to, all those hormones are going to start flowing back because you were getting your, your sex was, and your cum was the, the high from the opioids. And so once you're not getting that anymore, eventually you start to feel good stuff about normal life, whether it be food, sex, roller coasters, whatever gets those brain chemicals um, producing. So I have a compound uh, I may dominate right here. It's uh, anti-estrogen, it's a testosterone booster, and it's an anabolic agent booster also. It's great for men and women, it's great for PCT, it's great for natural athletes, and it's great for people coming off uh, opioids um, because it it gives you it boosts your natural testosterone. It boosts the anabolic agent. It, it, it suppresses your estrogen. So, and this is an all natural supplement. It's very strong. People love it. It sells great. It's a great product. Um, I would suggest that. I have a whole line of five different products, but I'm only going to touch on one product in this video because it, this is about opioid use and abuse. So. You know, it's going to be tough to get off. Make sure you have a good support group. Uh, make sure you, um, you know, don't lie to yourself. Like most, I would say, call addicts, they um, they hide it from people. They make excuses. They're like, well, this hurts, this hurts. And, and, you know, it's a lot of excuses. There's, There are some actually, you know, people in very chronic bad pain. And those people do need the medication. And they don't need to come off because their pain is so bad. Their injuries are so bad. There's no point because if they're off and they're in that pain, 
they're gonna be, let's say you're right here with like your mood, like not a good mood, you're gonna be like way up here because your pain level is so high and it's chronic and I've dealt with chronic pain long term before and it makes you just wanna go absolutely crazy. You're not a nice person, you treat your family and friends bad, yada, yada, yada. So uh, the opioids get off of, um, get you a product like mine. There's not really uh, anything on the market with the combinations I have, but it works great. So you stop, ta you stop taking your, um, you know, your opioids and I'll make a further video on what prescriptions are good to take to come off of opioids. Um, and then your doctor will usually prescribe it because, because they want you to come off and be healthy. Um, so my product's called Dominate. It's available at my website, armonadb.com. That's A-R-M-O-N-A-D-I-B-I.com. And that's going to help your natural testosterone come back. It's going to help your energy come back. And so once you're to a certain level, you can continue with this or you can go on like a uh, test replacement, which it's up to you. If you're not feeling enough from the Dominate, of course, testosterone is going to be better. Um, but everybody be safe out there. I have a lot of friends and I've also dealt with the uh, opioid use before because when you have four surgeries, they put you on all this medicine. You have no choice. Um, you could be in excruciating pain or take your pain medicine, but once those, all those months pass, your body's addicted to opioids. And so when you come off, you're gonna be, you're, the side effects are nonstop vomiting, diarrhea, body cramps, hallucinations, depression, crying, uh, cold sweats, goosebumps, those are the worst. So cold sweats, goosebumps, freezing, um, you're so tired and lethargic and your body hurts so bad, you can barely get out of bed. Um, so Dominate guys, check it out on my site. It's a great product, especially people coming off opioid use. And this is not a bodybuilding video, even though I'm a coach and in the bodybuilding world, this is about opioid because there was nothing on the internet when I look back, um, uh, to just get, relate with people's videos. But since, you know, I've studied so much literature on, on opioids and the different receptors, um, and it's, you're just gonna have to come off. Um, some people can taper off, some people can do cold turkey, but you're gonna hurt regardless. And you know, just be strong, mentally think, I can get through this, it's only temporary, um, and y'all can y'all can do it. That's a, that's a dark road to lead down. And I've lost several friends to overdoses on opioids, and it's really sad. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions and I missed anything, comment on the box below. Make sure to subscribe. Um, I'm going to start doing a lot more video on my supplementation. And I hope you guys do well. And uh, leave comments below and I'll do my best to uh, answer them. Thank you.